Hey everyone, um, number one, thanks for a hundred subscribers, yay! Um, in celebration, what better thing to do than to eat some clearance pastries from the local grocery store. So I don't know if your grocery store is like this, but at least at Pick and Save, um, and Kroger's and that sort of place. Basically, the Kroger's is what I grew up with in Houston. Pick and Save is what's here in Wisconsin and probably other places too. Anyway, so what I like better about the Kroger one is usually they would say, oops, we baked too much, here's some more stuff. Maybe they do have that here too. I don't remember what the um, shelving looked like. But anyway, um, I was at Pick and Save and I was hungry earlier. I'm not really that hungry now. I mean, like, I've I've eaten dinner, so I can have a reasonable amount of this dessert. Anyway, so this caught my eye because it was only 49 cents because it was originally only $1 anyway, so 50% off, woohoo, great deal. And if you didn't know, woohoo, great deal on the back too. Um, so what do we got here? We've got um, Old Fashioned Chocolate Eclair Pie. Um, I don't know why it has to say Always Baked, but it does say Always Baked. Always Baked. Um, yeah, I, these are the only kind of baked things that I partake in. Super wholesome! Anyway, so obviously, like, why, why is it 50% off? It's because, um, the best buy date is today. Today is the 15th of December. Maybe I'll actually post it today, this video that you're watching. Who knows? Big surprises. Um, it, this pie it says store at room temperature and it's baked with pride by table talk registered pies incorporated um in worcester or is it or is that the one where it's actually pronounced worcester anyway this is the one it's it, it's from massachusetts so i guess this isn't this isn't actually a local pie so i don't know i didn't think too much about that before this is definitely not like a high class pie but you know what sometimes um, like, I can enjoy not high-class things. These is like a, as I like to call it, it's a, a low-brow dessert. Anyway, but there is zero, there are zero grams of trans fat, so don't worry. So, let's get into this old-fashioned chocolate eclair pie. There's a little, one of those little tear tops in the top. Wow, that was a bad, I didn't do a good job, so we're just gonna open it out. Oh my gosh, what if I got a paper cut trying to eat this old-fashioned table talk chocolate eclair pie? That would be a real tragedy. All right, anyway, um, so uh, I did my best. Um, as you can see, it's in one of these little mini pie things. Um, let's see if I can open it up all the way so I can eat over this. Mm -mm. Okay, there's crumbs. Okay, hold on one moment. I need to... Oh, here are. All right, I've secured something over which to eat this, so I don't have to worry about crumbs because Philly in my bedroom right now, and I don't want little critters coming in here in this Wisconsin winter looking for some snacks. I mean, obviously there's one snack here. Um, but yeah, I don't want them to get chocolate eclair pie crumb snacks. So here's our pie so far, it looks it's sticky, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like getting my hands sticky, but... Alright. I guess we're gonna eat this now. It smells kind of like a donut, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of soft. Alright, we're going in. Hmm. Tastes like an eclair, but in pie format. Wait, let me see if this is actually one serving. Oh, good. It's, it's one pie per serving. It's not like those Marie Calendar pot pies, which are like, this is actually three servings. Like, <laughs> I'm not sharing this pot pie with two other people. And if it's going to be like 2,000 calories, so be it. But yeah, this has 430 calories, 23 grams of fat, 11 which are saturated. But like we said before, zero grams of trans fat. Um, no cholesterol, so I guess there's no eggs in here. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any eggs. Um, ooh, there are five grams of fiber, though. I guess from that wheat flour. Um, 
and there's four grams of protein from like cause well actually yeah I don't know how there's no cholesterol anyway I'm not gonna worry about that too much um as you can see it's just like a it's just like a eclairy filling also look at my jumbo thumbnail I've been growing them out um yeah it's not bad I actually for 50 cents I would I think if I was wanting a little sweet snack I would get this again Okay. I had like um hold on. I had a dying sound because you know sometimes you inhale while eating something or drinking something that has solid bits, even liquid bits, and then suddenly the food like shoots to your throat and you're like, Oh like I'm dying but you're not actually dying, it's just like in that moment you kind of get that I'm dying feeling. Oh, I so. Hmm. This is surprisingly pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. I will say, I do typically like eclairs, so. I mean, that's why I even picked this up in the first place. I don't usually just get 50 cent pies, mini pies. I mean. Anyway, I don't know. I was I was intrigued because like I like pies and I like eclairs, so like I mean together it makes a pretty good combination. I uh, is this gonna win any James Beard awards? Definitely not. But at fifty cents, that's pretty close to like a donut price. Now, like, if I were to pit this against, like, a hot glazed yeast donut, mm, maybe I'd go for a donut. But, it's actually really hard to find good hot yeast, e hot, good hot yeast donuts here in Madison. Um, I think apparently there's a grocery store near where I live which has good ones, but then I'd have to wake up really early and, like, not my strong suit. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. You know what? I'm okay with that. I had to get my finger sticky for this. So maybe if you live by Kroger or Pick and Save or like anywhere, since apparently these aren't even from Madison or I mean they're from W O R C E S T E R. Massachusetts um, maybe you can maybe maybe if you do live near where they make these I wonder if they have actual fresh ones probably not it's probably just a, like a production facility it's like I don't know it's like oh recently I saw um, at Hy-Vee another grocery store here they were like have a fresh Reese's cup I was like how fresh can a Reese's cup really be I don't really know I didn't buy it so sorry I can't be the one to tell you the review on them. The verdict. If it's worth getting a fresh Reese's Pieces. Although I will say, um, I got to tour a Frito-Lay factory once about three or so years ago. Three to four, three and a half maybe. Years. Predictions. Anyway, I went there and when I toured we got to try some chips that were like actually hot and freshly like fresh off the press but not press because if you press a potato chip like it's gonna snap although anyway yeah who wants a bag of snapped chips <laughs> nobody um oh, I think I have stuff in my teeth so sorry for that really cute look um maybe like okay I think I'm okay um Oh yeah, so like the hot and fresh chips, so like I think that's actually like something that is factory made and like fresh. Those are pretty good. I think it was uh, like cheddar and sour cream. It's one of the ones with cheddar. And like I had never had those before and I've had them a few times since then. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. It was definitely much better like hot and fresh. Yeah, 
I would recommend this, especially for 50 cents. The real question is though, would I pay full price for this? Would I pay, buy 10 for $10? Definitely wouldn't buy 10 for $10. Like one is just fine. But would I even get like one for $1? Mm, I don't know. Like once it goes, I mean, like just like from an absolute standpoint, like an extra 50 cents, not that much. But for something that I feel like for a whole dollar, maybe I would get, I don't know what else I would get for a dollar. Like maybe a better pay. I, I feel like once I'm going into one dollar, then I might as well go to like the two, three dollar range for like a fresh baked pastry, even if it is like freshly baked at the grocery store that I'm getting it at. Like if we're comparing grocery store pastries here. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd pay a dollar for it. I don't even know about 75 cents. Like especially since I've gotten this for 50 cents. I don't know if it's worth like the marginal, like the additional cost. Um, when I went, to pick and save to get this. There are several other ones left, so I guess another question one might ask is, okay, well, would I go back like now and get some of the other ones? Since those are definitely 50 cents? Well, probably not because, I mean, the best by date is today. That's why they are 50 cents. Um, but like if I sell them again for 50 cents, I think I would just really have to do some soul searching and be like, do I wanna get another 50 cent, uh, what are these called? Old fashioned chocolate eclair pie. Okay, so also they have old fashioned. There's a trademark by the word old fashioned, and that's um that's really silly because I don't know. I hope it's not. I don't, <laughs> maybe it's for the way it's written, like the font. Who knows, man. Hmm. I'm getting to the end of this eclair pie. Bloop. <laughs> oh, good spirit. Clearly the content that all a hundred people subscribed to me are looking for. And maybe you are not a subscriber yet. And like this definitely is convincing you to subscribe, right? Probably, maybe not, but I mean, watch another video before you write this off. Cause who knows, maybe maybe something else is your style. If this is did not do it for you, let me know what kind of kind of video you were looking for. Maybe I can make that. But maybe I won't. I don't know. I do have a large backlog of things to upload that I just haven't yet. So I don't know why I'm making this one. I don't know, I was just really inspired when I had this fifty cent eclair pie. I just felt like I should share this experience with you. Okay. Hmm. It's lots of videos on people eating really expensive things, but this is not only cheap, it's clearance. This is a clearance. It's a clearance pie. So, anyway. I'm all done. I need to go wash my hands so that I don't have to live with sticky fingers. Um, thanks for tuning in. Bye!